Hi, I'm Mira from Floor with Mira. This is an intermediate full body workout Pilates class. So let's get started. We're going to start sitting down at the front of your mat. Feet are parallel, lifting up nice and tall, hands underneath the thigh. So your spine is looking tall. All right, perching on your sitting bone, we inhale. We exhale, we flex the spine, rounding the back, drawing the abdominal muscle in. We inhale and lift. Again, exhale, we round. Inhale and lift. Two more, exhale. Inhale. Last one, exhale. In breath. And exhale, we round back again. And this time we're going to roll back. We curl the pelvis down. We take our body down, lying supine. Okay, bring your feet closer towards your bottom. All right, float one leg up to tabletop. Second leg up to tabletop, take your arms overhead. We are going to start with the hundreds. So we exhale, lifting the head and the chest up, straightening the legs diagonally or to the ceiling if you like to. Inhale, exhale, we pump. And in breath. And two. And three. Four. And, and five. Look at your belly. Make sure when you exhale, the belly goes down. And your last one is lengthening down to the floor. Two more sets. Last set. And drag the knees in. Lower one foot down, second leg down, and body down. Straighten the legs on the floor together. Take your arms overhead for the roll ups. We inhale, exhale. We come up. Always, always tough to come up to roll up after the hundreds. And we exhale to roll down again. Arms overhead. Inhale, exhale. In breath, exhale, and again, inhale, exhale, in breath, exhale, let's do one more time, inhale, Exhale, into the C curve. We hold the C curve, lengthening the neck here. I like you to, to, to just, excuse me, to just roll back about 20%. Drag the knees in with you and pull the feet off the floor for the rolling like a ball. So we're balancing on your tailbone here, your arms are nice and strong, holding the shape here. And looking down to the pelvis, we inhale, roll back. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, gaze through the pelvis. Exhale, in breath. Exhale, two more. Exhale, last one. Exhale, lower the feet down, opening the knees, lifting the spine. Give me a little higher release here as we breathe in. Exhale. And closing your knees again. And we push your hands into the knees. And we push your knees into your hand as we roll back. Back, back, back to the floor. Arms by the side. Half your feet hip width distance apart, parallel. Let's give me three pelvic curl here. We breathe out. Exhale. As we articulate the pelvis and the spine up to the bridging position. Neck is long, arm is long, arms are long. Exhale, we articulate down. 
release the pelvis at the end and again in breath exhale drawing the abdominal muscle in as we articulate the pelvis up press the feet open the chest press the side at the tip of the shoulders down to the floor inhale exhale and we roll down okay again in breath exhale we roll up to that bridging and let's stay here for me i'd like you to press the left foot down take the right leg up to tabletop here for our shoulder bridge prep we lower tap exhale up let's do eight here and up three stable pelvis four five six seven last eight and lower the foot down reestablish the pelvis position let's take the other leg up to tabletop we inhale exhale two three four five six seven last one and take the foot down again reestablish the pelvis position and go ahead and roll the spine down okay let's take one leg up to the tabletop second leg up to the tabletop position here and squeeze the legs together open your arms up to the T position we're going to do spine to supine with a little leg variation here so knees legs together over to the right as we inhale rotating from the waistline extending the left leg long the knees stay together exhale center bend the knee over to the left extend the top knee and center we bend over to the right extend the top knee and fall over to the left extend the right knee center let's do one more each side to the right here we extend come back and the left we extend we come back to the center we stay there lift the head and chest up here too hands on your knees to the double leg stretch so we go inhale exhale in breath exhale and three four five last hands on the right knee left leg extended lift the chest a little higher for the single leg stretch we switch out two three four five last set hold interlace the hands behind the head crisscross we rotate to the right knee and we switch two three four five six back to the center lower one foot down second leg down stretch your legs long and drop the head down and and take your arms long overhead for the roll up just to transition ourselves to a sitting position we inhale to the chest lift exhale pull the belly in ah roll up and lift the spine tall okay opened the heels the feet slightly wider than your pelvis here for our spine stretch we're going to do a little variation here we're going to add on spinal extension so feet are dorsiflex spine is long center active then we go roll down as we breathe out tip the pelvis forward as we inhale lengthen the spine so flat back here gaze is still down to the floor exhale roll up again exhale inhale flat back 
Exhale, reach forward and up. Again. Inhale. How long can you make your spine? Exhale. And roll up. One more time. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. And roll up the spine. Open your arms up to the T position here. Okay, now let's go into a saw. We're going to rotate towards me first. We go to me. And now one arm back, one arm forward. Hinge forward. Then up, right arm to the side. Open the arm and center. I'm going to my left. And taking my arm forward and back. Hinge forward. As I come up, my left arm come back to my side. My right arm open and I rotate my body to the center. We rotate. And arms, hinge forward, gaze is to the floor. Lift the back, arms, same time, open and center. Rotate to the left, arm, we hinge forward. And left arm to the side, right arm open and center. Last one, to the right, arm, hinge forward. And we lift, open the arm, open the arm and center. Last one, to the left, arm. And hinge forward and arm to the side, open and center. Bring the legs in for the open leg rocker. So grab the ankles, grab the ankles, lift the spine. Okay, straight away, straighten the legs. All right, if this is not possible for you, you can slightly bend the knees, that's fine. If this is too tricky for you, you can have the legs in a diamond position like so. You can even drop it down a little bit, okay? As long as your arms are straight. All right, I'm going to do the upper leg rocker as it's taught, with straight legs. All right, plucking the shoulders down, lifting the chest, and we go. Roll back, round back, and forward, lift. Again, in breath. And exhale, lengthening, and in breath. And Exhale, lengthening, three more, and back, and lift, two more, back, lift, last one here, and we'll lift, can we bring those legs together, yes we can, can we take your hands off? Forward, yes we can. Can we just roll down? Vertebrae, by vertebrae, like a teaser one. All right, rest the head down, open the arms up to the side, legs up to the ceiling. I've changed my mind, let's take arms down by the side. Let's go to our corkscrew. So we're gonna take the right leg, the legs to the right side, and then down, over to the left, and center. And go left, down, right and center. We go right, down, left, and center. Left, center, right, center, left. Last set, right. Last one, left, and middle, bend the knees, one foot down, second leg down, and turn your body towards me for the side kick. So, come up onto your elbow. Okay, we're gonna go with the triangle arm position here. So, balancing on the tip of the elbows, lifting the bottom waist up, okay? Make sure you're not slouching down here. Legs are straight. We take the top leg up, dorsiflex, and we go forward. Inhale. Exhale. And strong underneath side here. Don't let your body collapse. And three more. Two more. Last one. Back, 
back, stay. Lower the bottom arm, stretch the top arm over. Reach out away from the leg. Stay for three, two, one, and release. Other side, please. Okay, let's go on to your elbow. Okay, the key is to actually really draw the bottom waist up like you want to create like a bridge, like a bridge-like shape, okay? Then, reaching the tip of the head away, take the top leg up, dorsiflex it, and we go forward. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and, and, Three more sets. Two more. Last one. Reach whole, lower the bottom forearm down. Stretch the top arm away. Reach away. Inhale. Exhale. Three, two, one, and let it go. Onto our front, please. We're going to do double leg kick. So. Right, lying prone, turn your head towards me. I'm going to turn my head to my right. So I've got my left cheek on the floor. Okay, interlacing my hands in the small of my back. All right, legs are together here. Now pick up the belly and lift the legs up. And we kick three times. We inhale, reach the legs. Reach the arm, long body. I'm just going to bring myself a little bit to the middle. And to the other side. And inhale, reach. And to the right. Inhale, reach. And to the left. Inhale, reach. Again, one more set. Inhale, reach. Last one. Inhale, reach, reach. Hold it. Circle the arms forward. Neck is long. Separate the legs. Let's go for the swimming. Right arm, left leg. Left arm, right leg. Right arm, left leg. Left arm, right leg. And we go. In breath. Exhale. Inhale. Three more sets. Two more. Last. Stay. Legs together. Bend the knees. Grab your ankles with your hands. Okay. All right. Let's go for the rocking prep. So grab your ankles on, grab your hands onto your ankles. Now here we go. We're going to start articulating the spine as your thighs goes into extension, lifting, 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 reaching, and coming down. Again, three more. We inhale, hip extension, Spinal extension, then knee extension, and come on down, and two more, inhale, lifting, 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 more, and exhale, last one, inhale, so I'm thinking hip extension, back extension, and I finish up, Knee extension. And coming down. And release. All right, let the legs go. Arms on the side of the shoulder. Push the floor away. Round the back to the rest position here. Reaching the pelvis down to your heels. Two sets of breath. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Okay. And to our quadruped position. We have only three exercises to go, I think. If I'm not mistaken. So, let's go to our quadruped. All right. Align the shoulders and the heel of the palm. Align the knee and the center of your hip. Pick up the belly. 
Okay, straighten one leg out. Let's do front support. And then we'll do control, balance, front. Straighten the second leg. All right, go into that plank position. Right knee, extend, left. Right, with a shift in the pelvis, left. Right, left, right, left. Two more sets, right, left, right. Last set here, left, and stay, point your right foot, and we lift for five, two, three, four, five. Release, point the left foot, and we lift. Two, three, four, five. Release, bend the knees, sit the pelvis back, and roll up, bring the legs forward for the teaser prep. Okay, so teaser prep, obviously the preparation for the teaser, it's easier. Maybe. I find it a bit more challenging than teaser one actually, but it's a preparation to do your teaser one, two, three. Anyways, lift the back, lengthen and lean back. Pull the lower abs in, pick up the legs, tabletop. Okay, arms long by the side. And we go down, exhale. Inhale, pull back again. So you want to roll back to where there's no tipping point here. So everyone's going to be different here. So we're going to roll back where you feel like, oh my God, I'm going to fall. I'm not going to fall. I'm going to pull myself up. That's what you should be thinking. Again, exhale. We roll down. Pull the belly away from your thigh and an inhale. Proud chest. Again, exhale. Down. Inhale. Can we do two more here? Exhale. In breath. And like it last, exhale. So I like it to use your back muscle. When you come up, right here, lift the back. Lift, lift. Well done. Lower the feet down. Open the knees. And let's roll down the spine. Walk your hand forward. Walk your hand forward. Walk your hands and just stay here for a moment as we inhale and we exhale. One more time, please. We inhale and we exhale and we roll the spine back up, 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 and you are done. Thank you for joining me on a mat today. I wish you a lovely day and I hope to see you in my other class. Thank you. Congratulations on completing the class. Well done. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my free Better Postures in 5 Days program. Click the first link in the comments and sign up. I will instantly send you a daily email with a 15 to 20 minute workout each day. This workout will work your whole body to help open, stretch and strengthen your posture. Your spine and body will love you. Don't forget to like and comment with any question you may have about Pilates. Subscribe and turn on notification so you don't miss any of my free Pilates video. See you in the next class.